All right, Miss Mirza, let's see what you got. I don't do 50-50, obviously, but one thing that gives me the ick is when I see a bill. I do not want to see the bill. I will go to the toilet strategically and give you an opportunity to pay the bill whilst I'm not at the table. Because if I see the bill, we're gonna have to do this awkward dance and I'm not doing the dance because I'm just gonna sit there. So make sure that bill is paid before. Like, why are we doing this dance? So I know a lot of people are gonna hate on this a lot, but just consider for one second the reality of the situation, okay? She is obviously attractive. There is very rarely a moment in her life where she had a guy not jump to pay enthusiastically, okay? And if there ever was a moment and he didn't want to pay, immediately it's going to set a tone that he doesn't want to take care of her. And in her entitled mind, because this is what she's used to, why would that ever be the case? Because she's so special, right? You have to understand that that's how these types of women move. Now, you can decide to either pay the price and deal with what comes to the territory, or don't pay the price because somebody else always will. So as unflattering as it may seem, this is just the cold, hard reality of this particular situation, okay? <laughs> as funny as it may sound. I'm not paying the bill. However, in circumstances where the guy's like, oh, well, we should get 50-50, which I've never been in, but if I'm ever- uh, She's never been in, right? Probably at least a couple times. Otherwise, how would she have such a strong opinion on it? But. Anyways. In, I will pay the full bill just so he knows he's a little bit and I can do that. Like, if a man ever is like, oh, well, you had a sip of this Coke and you ate this and you ate this, just be like, listen, babe. Actually, no, don't even call him babe. Just be like, listen, like, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so the truth is, right? I know her demeanor kind of sucks and she's saying it in a very blunt way and all this stuff, right? But she's sort of right. Like, there's nothing more unattractive than a guy that starts nitpicking dollar here, dollar there, like this and that, measuring, being hyper attentive to these tiny little details like this. Listen, if you're going to take a girl like this on a date, then be ready to pay the price, okay? If you don't have the money, don't bother. I'm just being honest with you guys. You can complain to me all day about how it's unfair and it doesn't make any sense and all this stuff, but this is just the way it is. So I'm here to give you guys solutions. Uh, we can talk philosophy all day and how stupid it is and how it doesn't make any sense, but this is the reality, okay? So don't bother, as I always say, don't bother going out on dates with girls, especially girls like this. And like I said, it's obviously attractive, right? If you don't have the money to deal with the entry-level things. So paying for dinners, it shouldn't bother you, okay? If it starts to hurt your wallet, don't bother. Maybe go focus on other things for a bit, be bored for a while, like I said recently, be extremely bored first and then have access to the good stuff later. Otherwise, you're always going to be nickel and diming. You're always going to feel weird every time you have to pay because you know you don't have the money to pay for it, but you're going to do it out of pride and ego because you understand that that sets the tone of masculinity. Okay, 50-50 is never going to work. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they all think they deserve millionaires, obviously, right? But that's just the game. That's the game now. If you don't want this, Aim lower. It is what it is. There's girls that don't expect that standard. But you have to at least show promise that you can, even if you choose not to, okay? So with those type of girls, you have to at least be able to show promise then, right? But these days, if you don't have it out of the gate, don't even bother. Clearly, you don't have it. Let me get it and never see you ever again. Yeah, like I say, the dating game isn't linear, guys. It's an often overlooked factor when talking about dating, right? Obviously, the higher up in attractiveness you go, the more problems that also come with the territory, okay? And this, this applies to guys as well. I mean, the more attractive you are, the more you got going on, the more problems that come with that territory, because obviously dating when you're in the nines pool comes with a whole bunch of different problems than when you're dating in the fives pool. People that are fives, and it's not, just to clarify, it's not just about physical attractiveness either, by the way. It's about a variety of factors, right? And it comes down to social class a little bit as well. But when you're dating in that average group, you're not going to have these types of problems, typically, okay? So yes, it's a non-linear game. The higher up in level you try to go, the more of these types of problems you're going to have, which means you have to bring more to the table, which is entirely natural, 
right? If you want a Lamborghini, expect Lamborghini problems. Okay, it's not going to be cheap to fix. It's not going to be economical. Okay, you're playing a different game. Now, obviously, all the average people are going to say, oh, that's stupid. I don't care about it. No one else should have it. Well, that's your problem. If you want to be average, be average and accept being average. But don't be average and then try to look up and say, oh, that shouldn't be the case. Just accept the level that you're at. If you want to be better, you have to put in more time, more effort, and you have to be better overall to get access to certain things. This is just the nature of life. Okay, if you buy a Lamborghini, don't complain about its fuel mileage. Don't complain about how expensive it is. You buy it knowing what comes with the territory. Okay, the same thing comes with these women. Is that what I said? If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you want to see more of my private content, don't forget to check the link in the description below.